Welcome back to Grid Drop. Today, we're going to help you get faster around Formula One's first track of the season, Bahrain. If you enjoy this video, feel free to leave any feedback or questions in the comment section or my Discord, which is linked in the description. That being said, let's get right into it. This video will be broken down into five sections. Car setup, sector one, sector two, sector three, and finally a full lap. These sections are all equally important, so stay tuned to the end of the video if you really want to improve. So here's the setup I run in Bahrain on F124. Feel free to pause the video and screenshot this if you want to try out the setup on your own. This setup prioritizes good front end rotation and rear grip, as well as balanced downforce throughout the lap. As a disclaimer, this setup is a general baseline for you to start with, and applies to both hot laps and a race. I recommend doing a few laps with this setup and tweaking it to fit your own style. Heading into sector 1, stick to the left side of the track and watch for the meter boards. Keep an eye out for where this curb begins on the left, between the 150 and the 100 meter board. Ideally, you want to break about a car length beyond where this curb starts, and a car length in front of the 100 meter board, right about here. Under braking now, shift your eyes towards the apex of the corner. About a car length ahead of the 50 meter board, start turning into the corner. You really want to prioritize a late turn in here, as turning in later produces a sharper angle, allowing a better line through the following corners. Once turning in, try to stick as close as you can to this inside curb while off the throttle. At the apex now, slowly get back on the power, but be cautious, this could be slippery. Once getting back on the power, wait until your wheels are straightened out, and then go very aggressive on the throttle while aiming for this inside curb. Now, stomp the throttle down and sway to the outside curb on the right. You can use as much of this curb as you want. Flat out now, carry the car through the corner and naturally sway to the left side on exit and enable DRS. On this straight, stick to the left side of the track, but keep all four wheels on the tarmac. Keep an eye on the 100 meter board up ahead, you want to brake at exactly this point. Under braking now, start turning into the corner, aiming for this apex on the right. It's very easy to understeer here, so make sure you're slowed down enough to make the corner. At the apex now, slowly get back on the power and carry as much speed as you can through the corner. Widen out to the left on exit and use the full width of the track here, making sure to avoid track limits. Be cautious on the power here, this is probably the easiest point in the lap to spin out. Once the wheels are straight, accelerate towards the next corner. That's a look at sector 1, now let's see it at full speed. The next few corners are crucial. Pull back in towards the left side of the track and aim for this curb. Drive through this curb now and as soon as you pull towards the right to turn in, break about 10% and downshift twice. Try to stick as close as you can to this inside curb and slowly get back to full throttle. Into this next left, stay flat out and again, try to stick as close as you can to the curb. Finally, on exit, sway out to the right and use this exit curb. Once on the curb, pay attention to the tire marks on the track in front of you. As soon as these get denser, brake. If this is hard to see for you, you can look at this Lenovo sign on the left and break about two car lengths beyond this sign. Under braking now, use the full width of the track and sway to the curb on the left. Keep your eyes on the apex of the corner and turn in, aiming to stick as close to the curb as you can. Start accelerating at the apex now and try to sway out to the left side of the track. This allows you to keep the wheel straight and get the power down earlier. You can use this exit curb here as well if you need it. Now put the power down and sway towards the right side of the track. At this point, I like to shift my brake bias down to about 53% instead of 56%, as the next corner is very easy to lock up. Once facing the next corner, aim for this inside curb and aggressively turn in. Your goal here is to make a straight line from this inside curb to the outside curb at the corner. Start braking as soon as this left curb starts to fade away, and make sure to keep the wheels straight here. Once you reach this outside curb on the right, you should already be turning into the corner. This corner is probably the trickiest one of the lap, so make sure you aim for the apex and try not to go wide here. At mid-corner, start getting back on the power and stick to the right. Once the wheels are straightened out, push to full throttle. If you change the brake bias for this last corner, use this straight as an opportunity to move it back to 56%. Enable DRS and fly down the straight, keeping to the right side. Watch for the meter boards on the right, you're going to want to brake between the 100 and the 50 meter boards. In between these boards are one dark blue stripe and one light blue stripe. You want to brake at the first light blue stripe on the right. Under braking, downshift four times into third gear and aim for this inside curve. At the apex now, get back on the power a little more aggressively than you think you should. 
Now, sway to the right side of the track and aim for this outside curb. You can use this curb if you like. Now, full power and aim towards the left side of the track, going up the hill. So, that's a run through of Sector 2, now let's see it at full speed. Aim towards the right side of the track as it slowly transitions to a high-speed right-hander. Stick towards the curb and naturally widen out to the left as it opens up. Now ride your left wheels on the curb and prepare for the corner. There are two options here. Option 1 is to watch the corner as a braking and turning in point, and option 2 is to use this Pirelli sign on the right. For option 1, keep your eyes focused on the apex of the corner, and you judge your braking based on eyeballing the corner. For option 2, brake about one car length ahead of the Pirelli sign on the right, and turn into the corner. Under braking, focus on the apex and try to stick as close as you can to this curb. As usual, accelerate at mid-corner and use the full width of the track, swaying out to the left exit curb. At the end of the corner, put the power down and continue onto the straight. There's no DRS here, so just keep the throttle pinned and watch for the meter boards on the left. For this final corner of the lap, you want to brake at about 65 meters between the 100 and the 50 meter boards. Once you reach the 50 meter board, start turning into the corner and aim for the apex. Try to avoid the inside curb here as it can destabilize your car. Putting the power down at mid-corner, sway to the left side of the track and use the exit curb. Now push to full throttle and prepare to enable DRS on the main straight. So that's a look at Sector 3, now let's see it at full speed. Now let's take a look at a full lap. So there you have it, a full lap of Bahrain broken down corner by corner and sector by sector. If you want to see more track guides on F124, have questions, or need more tips, feel free to leave a comment on this video or in my Discord. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.